Public speaking is the art of giving power to words, to influence, to inspire and to transform lives. So if you don't know what you want to achieve in your presentation, your audience never will. Hi everyone, I am your trainer Namita and you're watching Skillfident with Namita. Today in this video, I am going to share with you 10 amazing ways which will help you enhance your public speaking skills. If you are someone who's scared of speaking publicly, but you want to become a good public speaker, then these 10 methods or these 10 ways are going to help you a lot. I can promise you if you listen to all the 10 tips that I'm going to share right now, you will be able to address at least smaller audience from tomorrow on. So let's talk about it. Now, it is absolutely normal for each one of us to feel nervous before any stage performance, before any public speech or before presenting anything to a certain group of people. It is normal when you face certain amount of people who are maybe not known to you, then you are hesitant of speaking in front of them. You're scared internally, you're panicking right now. It is absolutely natural. Now, those who say that they are not scared of speaking publicly are either lying or they are experts in their field. They have been speaking publicly for a very long time. But if you are somebody who's new to this whole public speaking thing, then you can do one simple thing. You can take a few deep breaths before starting your speech. A deep breath, no matter how underrated it is, can do wonders. It can de-stress you and it can give you a strange feeling of calmness within yourself. You will feel a lot more strength because the oxygen flow in your entire body will make you more positive and will give you all the courage that you need to face the public at the moment. The second thing, what happens to you is that if you're, if you're not really sure about what you're going to present, which means that you're not well prepared, you've not rehearsed enough, then it is going to be a very messy situation for you. You'll be more scared, you'll be very stressed and your confidence would also be low. So to appear confident to your public, you need to prepare, practice a lot, and rehearse your content, your speech, your whatever presentation it is. Be it your colleagues in your office, be it your classmates in your college, be it your any performance which you're going to make. So the general audience, you need to rehearse everything in advance and prepare a lot. If you're confident about what you're going to present, what you're going to speak about, then Nobody can actually stop you from giving your best performance. So practice is the key. As we always say that practice makes a man perfect. Similarly, practice make your public speech perfect. So I'll repeat that you have to prepare, practice and rehearse before actually stepping onto your stage. Now, the third thing is your introduction. Your introduction has to be the best people actually notice the very first thing you present to them and that is generally your introduction. So make sure that you are giving an impeccable introduction to everybody who's listening to you so that you can hold the audience for a longer duration with yourself. So your introduction has to be very, very impressive. Include all that you can. Use innovative ways to introduce yourself. Don't just stick to normal, my name is this and I'm going to present. How well you can manage to present yourself in the very first seconds matters. So make your introduction as exciting as you can. For that, you have to make some investment and that is what you're going to do to sound impressive. Now, the next thing is that you need to know your audience, the people you're going to address. As I already mentioned, if it is a presentation in your office, then you need to know who all are going to be present. Are these your colleagues? Are they going to be your seniors, your teammates? Who all are the people you're going to address? If in your college, you need to know who are sitting right in front of you. What age group is there who you're addressing? What kind of people, what kind of mindset will they have? Which background are they coming from? This will help you prepare accordingly. 
if you are your content is not relevant to what the audience wants then half of the battle is already lost so know your audience before presenting what you are going to present your speech should be all about them it should not be about you it is more about them so be sure what your audience wants from you the next thing that i would say is about your originality Many of us try to copy other people. We want to be like them. I've heard many people say, I want to speak like him. I want to be like her. No, you have to try to retain your originality. Try to be yourself, what you truly are. Your way of speaking, your way of presenting, your own way of delivering your speech is important. Why be a photocopy of somebody when you can be your original best that is my star advice for all of you be yourself try to be your original best version rather than being somebody else's photocopy it is what will keep your audience intact with you because you're presenting them something which they've already not seen so when you're original your audience you can retain your audience for a longer time i would say okay the next thing is, which we always forget because we are so nervous when we are speaking in front of public that we forget to smile. You know that smile is the only curve that straightens everything. So make sure that you flash a smile every few minutes. This will make your presentation interesting. This will maintain the affinity between you and your audience and at the same time make sure that you're having a good eye contact with your audience doesn't matter how many people are sitting right in front of you if you keep looking at them occasionally this would keep them all glued to what you're presenting so make sure that you're smiling in between and maintaining an eye contact is equally important now because of nervousness, because of our hesitation, we sometimes just keep, you know, presenting our words very quickly. We speak very fast as if there is a train which is passing right in front of us. Make sure that you are taking enough pauses. You're pausing after every sentence or pausing after every important point. When you're presenting something, you're supposed to highlight the important points and take appropriate pauses pause this will also give you a chance to breathe in between because sometimes because of that whole panic situation we forget to breathe we forget to smile so take a pause take a deep breath in between and stay relaxed so pauses are important too now the next point is you need to keep your audience engaged with your presentation or with your speech and how would you keep them engaged it's by asking them questions when it is just a one-way communication the whole uh, interaction can look very very boring but if you make it more interactive you are asking for their participation as well it would be very interesting so if you want them their engagement to make your presentation more uh, you know impressive then you have to keep asking them questions you can even ask a feedback in the end ask them uh, what did, you, did they like your speech what else would they want you to add into it if it's especially if it's an official speech then make sure that you ask for a feedback otherwise after every point that you've uh, expressed you make sure that you're asking some questions and let them answer it according to them that would help a lot the next thing is that there are some strong points that each one of us have if you are presenting something there would be certain points which are very sure about as compared to rest of them something which is your strength make sure that you're stressing on those points you're paying extra attention to those points if you are presenting your strong points with extra attention then it would help erase the rest of the points which you were not very sure about are you getting it the overall performance would be highlighted by your strong points so pay extra attention to every strong point that you have and, and try to keep them in the beginning so that the audience is engaged with you till the end so that's very very important in the last i would say that try to keep your speech simple sometimes to impress others we try to use a lot of complicated vocabulary we try to use unnecessary uh, examples and things you have to 
express your views to your audience, not try to impress them. So your focus should be on expression, not impressing your audience. So I would simply say that use very simple language. Instead, try to use more stories, more experiences. Try to give them some instances from real life so that they can also relate to your speech, your presentation. Stories help a lot. Now, storytelling can be another very good topic if you would like me to make one entire video on how to be a good storyteller. I can do that for you. But right now here, I would simply say that use more stories so that your audience is with you and they can relate to all that you have to say. Now, I would end this video by telling you that it is not just your communication skills that are needed for public speaking. To become a good public speaker, you need to work on your confidence as well. Your self-confidence matters. Your language matters. Your gestures matter. Your positivity matters. Your storytelling matters. Your optimism is something which will keep your audience with you for a very longer duration. And that is why this cannot be just one thing. By working on your speech only, you cannot become a good public speaker. You have to work on your confidence, your presentation, your personality, your, your overall presence, how it is to become a good public speaker. I'm going to end this video on this positive note. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care of yourself and keep practicing, keep rehearsing. Bye-bye for now.